Welcome back guys, in this video we are going to talk about what IDE we are going to be using throughout this course. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. If you search online or do a bit of googling about what is the best IDE for Python, the name you will see is PyCharm. So go to jetprints.com, click on Tools, click on PyCharm and click on Download. PyCharm comes with two versions, Community and Professional. Community is suitable for pure Python development and it's free but we have a professional version as well which gives you some extra features like support for HTML, JS and SQL and it has some web support as well. For example, if you're using Django to build a web application using Python, professional is the way to go. Let's click on download. You're going to wait for your package to be downloaded. It's a simple .dmg file. Once it is downloaded, you simply click on the package and follow the instruction for installing PyCharm CE. Okay, so the package has been downloaded. I'm going to click on that. And once it opens, you simply click on PyCharm CE and move that to application folder. Because I've already installed PyCharm CE, this is why I'm getting this option. So I want to keep both, stop or replace. I'll just click on replace so we can start from scratch. That's done, press command space and open PyCharm CE. Once this is open, we are going to learn how we can create a new project using PyCharm. So we have a PyCharm running. We can create a new project or open a new project or check out from version control as well. One thing you might see a different to my PyCharm is a different color scheme here. That's because if you go to plugins, and you will see I've installed a material theme UI. So if you go to plugins and search for material UI and then click on this and download and install it, you will have the options to choose different kind of color and they look great. So let's cancel it out and I'm going to show you how you can create a new project. Let's click on create new project. We'll change the title to our project to let's just say chapter one. Next, we're going to click on Project Interpreter. So in the last video, we installed Conda to the Mac. So this is why I can see Conda here. We can use the existing interpreter. So here it says interpreter. It's a Conda interpreter called Projecto. This is the part for that interpreter. Well, I don't want to use that because that Projecto interpreter is used for some other application. So what we do is click on new environment using Conda. If you click on this drop down, you will have a virtual ENV, pipe ENV or Conda. Now we have installed Conda, so we're going to stick to Conda. Now here we have a Python version. We can define Python 3.7 or Python 3.5 or 6 or 2.7. So we're going to stick to latest version of Python, which would be 3.7. It's saying, hey, Conda executable will be installed onto this part. Location would be here. The name for our environment would be chapter one. And I don't want to do that. I would like to give a proper name. So I'll say Pi3, Pi3, okay? And we can leave the project name to chapter one or whatever you want to call it. Let's click on create. We have a patch on C open up. It gives you some tip of the day. Let's click on close. On the left, we have a file explorer where you can see the folder. We don't have any file yet. We're going to create one. So I'll just right click on the folder, click on new and then click on Python file. And let's just say test and click on OK. Now we have a Python file created here. Let's write some code here. So I'll type print and I'll type hello world. I'm going to save this file by pressing Command S on a Mac. You click on Terminal, it will open a terminal and it will automatically activate the Conda environment. So right now we are in Pi 3. I'll type ls, see we have this file called test.py. I'm going to type python space dash dash version. I can see I have a Python 3.7.3 installed, which is good. So I'll type Python and then space and then the name of the file I want to run. Press return and you have hello world logged to your console or terminal. So this is how you run Python scripts. 
Now you can see we had a file test.py and all we had to do is call Python interpreter. You do that by typing Python or if you're not using virtual environment, then you have to specify Python 3. Sometimes you have a Python 3, that's how you call Python 3 interpreter or if you simply type Python, it will call Python 2.7 interpreter. Depending on the Python installation, you define your Python version, space, and then the script file that you want to run. Now, this is one way that you run your Python files. But PyCharm is pretty advanced and it helps us to run our code very easily. You don't have to go to terminal and use the Python terminal by typing all these commands. I would like to configure this button here, look like a play button to be able to click on that and it runs our file. So right now we are in a test.py file. I would like to click on add configuration. I'll click on this plus button, click on Python, and I'll select this environment as Py3, and then we name our environment to run. To select script path, let's click on this folder, and let's select this, and then click on apply, click OK. Now, I'm going to close the terminal by clicking on this dash and I'm going to click on this play button and it's going to open a run for us and it's going to log this hello world for me. I'm going to click on these three dots and click on move to right bottom. So this is the setup that we're going to be using throughout this course. We have our play button activated. If you click on play, you can run your code or you can even use the shortcut key for that, which is control R.